Hey everyone, welcome back to Direct Modeling of Buildings and Cities. My name is Josh, and today I'll be covering about sun subtractor. So covering um, covering from what we had previously on the sun analysis, sun subtractor is to a, st a step further from sun analysis because sun subtractor is like a strategy used by architects and designers to <clears throat> have a um, to allow more sunlight in a certain urban space or a certain space to allow more sunlight by carving other buildings and um, allowing allowing the sun to access that that, um, that that particular spot so previously in in this scenario we can see that there are dark spots over there and here and there in the winter times and you want to have more sunlight access more sunlight access on this on these spots because you can see here these spots only have one hour or less uh, sunlight access per day so you, what you want to do is to select an area for example I want to select this courtyard over there so we just create a rectangle so just create a rectangle over there and for example you want to have a sunlight access more than an hour um, during the day or 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 maximizing or maximizing during this time which is the 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. so what you want to do is just create a rectangle over here and then select this rectangle there and just curve. so the curve denotes an area that you want to have the sunlight access so this build, so if that's the case, this building over here, this section over here in particular, this will be cut off. This will be cut off to allow sunlight access uh, to allow sunlight to get into the space. So how do you do, do you do this sunlight uh, the sun subtractor? The first thing that you need is a solar fan. So solar fan means that to have an area, an area selected for the uh, for the access, extruded to the position of the sun. So, for example, this one here is going to be extruded to this one, next, um, to this sun position at 8 a.m. to allow the sunlight access at 8 a.m. And this one here is 9 p.m., 10 a, uh, 10, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., etc. So it's going to have, um, it's going to, it's going to extrude at the area to create like a fan, look, to create like a fan form. So what I'm going to show, uh, what I'm going to do here is to extract two, two different things. <clears throat> that's needed for the extrusion. The first one is the sun position, and the second one is the and second one is the center of this of this of the area. So that's what you want up there. And sun position as points. So as you can see here, we already got this to this two, this two um, feature, this two item that's needed for the extrusion, and create a line from this to there. So that's sort of like making a guide, so this curve can have an extrusion too, and then extrude, <coughs> extrude along, extrude along, then then just extrude like that. So it looks like a fan. Like that. That's why it's called solar fan. So as you can see here, this is a sun path uh, that's required to. Uh, this is a sun path extruded for this area, for this little area over there. The reason why it's better to have it to have an extrusion of this area rather than a normal solar fan, because the normal solar fan only works in two D. It it doesn't really um, it doesn't really cover the edges of this area that we want. So if we want to have a full extent of the sun uh, of sun access, you want to have this area extruded to the sun position. So that's that, but if you want to have a more refined a more refined sun access during the day, as previously mentioned, we can do the sun, the time step. The time step over there. So make it as six and so it's going to be cut. Six. So it's going to take a while because it has a lot of a lot of um, solar fan. So as you can as you can see here, it's more refined. 
solar fan using the time step, but it's going to make it more heavy if you have more accurate, uh, more accurate, more accurate, send, uh, more accurate analysis such as such. So what you want to do is just to to uh, solid union. So do a solid union. It has to be in open close prep. The reason why, because we want to read, uh, we want to have a Boolean diff, uh, Boolean subtraction between this building and that building, and the way it works in Grasshopper is that you need to you need to have like one one object with one object to make it more uh, to make it more efficient. So that's why I do a Boolean a Boolean union here just to create this as one solid uh, as one solid. So just to make it more <coughs> make it tidier. As you can see here, it's just one single solid, and what you want to do is just to have a solid difference between these buildings and that one. So, that one minus that one. But before I do that, you need to realize that it's open prep, which means that there are lots of buildings over here, there are, there are lots of buildings over there, so what you want to do is just to select this building, just to select this building to make the process more efficient. So uh, what I'm doing right now is just to select only that building by baking this, and then just select this building, make a new, make a new solid. Now this is a more of efficient efficient process, but if you need to cut um, two different buildings, for example, this one and that one, by all means, by all means, just use the, the original the original um the original prep, which is this one over here. But for the sake of this exercise and for the sake of efficiency, you can separate this as a different different object over there like that. So just so what I want to do is to hide all the buildings over there. As you can see here, also, what you notice is that the time here have a uh, it's a it's a longer diagram because we set the time step to to six, so we don't need to we don't need to worry about that right now. And then just use that. And as you can see here, the building. Is cut away based on the sun angle. So this is what it means by sun subtractor. It's subtracting the building based on the sun angle to allow the sun accessing a particular spot. So here you can see that there's a wireframe of the solid of the original building, and the second one is the is the building in itself after it's been subtracted. <coughs> so what you want to do is just to move this back. To move this, uh, include this into the original building, just to see uh, the effect of the sun subtractor to this area over there. So as you can see here, this is this is quite dark. So what you want to do is to bake. Yes, and then just to select everything except this one here. Make a new prep. Then hide everything here. And this one. So what you want to do is just to put the cut away buildings back to the original ones. So do that. Make that. And then create another prep. Set as multiple. 
and this is a, this one here is a new this is a new building post San Subtracto. What you want to have is another um, analysis on how the San Subtracto affecting this area over there. So high goes right. Go back here, change that. Yep, there you go. As you can see here, there's a massive improvement on this section to allow more sunlight. So if we revert back to here. It's just cop lighting at the moment. It's quite heavy because I set the time set to six. And there you go. You can see that it's, there's a lot of improvement. So I just need to replace this back. It doesn't matter because we've already cut and um, we've already packed this, this product over there. So just for the sake of being quick. So this is the original one. And that's after the sense of tractor. So as you can see here, it's a very good tool and it's a very good process to um, to allow more sunlight in the courtyard area and the outdoor area and creates also a uh, unique form of buildings. So this one here, it doesn't have to be um, for architects. It, it's quite nice, but you can have like very weird, um, very weird shapes where buildings kind of floating and etc. Uh, but the sun subtractor doesn't really a form finding. It's more like a uh, it's it's more like a limitation of a form to be uh, to maximize the form um, the form to maximize the volume of the form, but also to maximize the silent access to the courtyard area. So it's like balancing the two the two, and it's a really good tool to be used by architects and urban designers. So that's it for sun subtractor, and I'll see you in the next one.